Like any state election, whenever there's an election on, there's a lot of attention here, as well as there is, of course, in Macquarie Street and on the campaign trail. But it's a big final week for Chris Minns and Dominic Perrottet. I, f I feel like the federal politicians are stepping back and watching this show in New South Wales. That's what it feels like in Parliament House today. And, look, it's probably the closest... It might be the closest election that we've covered in the last three to four years when you yeah. think about it. A lot of those pandemic state elections weren't close. Um, uh, Anthony Albanese has a narrow majority, but there's a massive crossbench, so yeah. that election didn't end up very close. But nevertheless, with only yeah. a few days until Saturday night and that election, Labor are in the box seat to win, despite a bounce back in the primary vote of the coalition in the latest resolve poll in the nine newspapers. You'd think Greens, preferences and others would get Labor over the line. The coalition traditionally need a higher primary vote. Apart from the difficulties against Labor in several seats for the Liberals, Willoughby, Gladys Berejiklian's old seat, looks in trouble against an independent. If this is the case, we would have seen over the past few years Robert Menzies and Andrew Peacock's old seat and Tony Abbott's seat and John Howard's seat and John Hewson's seat and now Gladys Berejiklian's seat all turn independent or to Labor. Now, the government is concentrating some effort on the North Shore against independents in a number of line ball contests.